Today we're lucky to be the first in the Middle East to do the aquablation procedure. So basically this is a technique that we're using to treat benign prostate uh, hypertrophy in patients who have obstructive symptoms or are bothered of their prostate. So this is a benign disease and that we use laser or electricity, so a lot of heat. And now we have the opportunity to use this new technology that uses water at very high pressure to treat the prostate. Uh, the advantages of this technique, of course, is that you're not using heat, so you're preserving the tissue. And uh, really the patients are having better outcomes, and basically, especially in the sexual function, uh, after the procedure. It's a short procedure after a little bit of uh, preparation that uh, can, talk, can take around half an hour. The treatment itself ranges between three to six minutes, compared to maybe an hour, an hour and a half in other procedures. And the advantages as well is that because we don't use heat, there is less damage to the nerves, less damage to ejaculation, and uh, the patient will not have a lot of irritative symptoms uh, after the surgery. Usually when you have a, a very good outcome, a lot of the times that good outcome will carry complications with it. There is a trade-off that the patient always has to face. If the patient wants an optimal outcome in terms of their, their symptomatic relief, they'll have to be willing to pay the price in terms of complications, especially those of sexual nature. They have ejaculatory dysfunction, they may have erectile dysfunction, and in some cases there may be some incontinence associated with that. If they do not want to pay that price in complications, then the alternatives are other minimally invasive methods that do not resect tissue, they don't take tissue away, and by not doing that, then the outcomes are not going to be long-lasting and they are not going to really reduce your symptoms to the level that you really desire. With this technology, you're breaking that trade-off. The surgeon has the ability to provide to the patient what was believed to be impossible, which was optimal symptomatic relief that is durable without having to be paying the price in terms of complications. This is a new technology. It is now approved. It is FDA approved and EU approved as well. But this is quite novel. Uh, basically, the other advantage of it is actually that there is a robot also that will uh, actually allow the use of the machine in a very precise way and resection of the prostate in a very precise and accurate way that, you know, in a, in a surgeon's hand, you wouldn't be able to do such a good result or you will need really uh, a lot of training and a lot of cases to do the same result, actually, that the robot does. With this robot, the surgeon has the ability to deliver very, very good results without having to treat hundreds of patients to do so. The patient will have the ability to, within a handful of procedures, deliver optimal outcomes to their patients. It's another modality in our hands to treat this problem that men have. The patient after surgery will have uh, fewer complaints. And for us, it is a comfortable procedure as well with little morbidity that we have to deal with. We're very excited to be at AUB because we know that uh, AUB has a great reputation. It's a great academic institution. And once a technology comes here, then it, it will have the ability to go to other places in the Middle East because the people in the Middle East, they trust AUB, they trust uh, this academic institution and that's why we were very interested in bringing this technology here first. We were lucky to be the first team to do the procedures here. Uh, it has been done in the, in the US, in Europe and in, uh, in Australia, but this is the first time that it's done in the, in the Middle East and the North Africa region. So we're really lucky to have this technology. It's really going to benefit our patients. And uh, we're proud that uh, AUBMC has been chosen as the center to, to start this uh, technique in the region.